Welcome back guys to another beer review. If you're unaware, this is all the beer no idea. I'm Baz and we've got a slightly different beer review coming up now. Uh, we've got a five litre mini keg that I picked up from Beer Wolf, which is part of the Heineken group. And pretty much all the beers they do on there are owned by Heineken. So this next beer coming up is owned by them. And we've got a French blonde ale uh, from the Salzburg region. And it is Fisher Tradition. It's coming in at 6%. This five litre keg was £20.99. Uh, and this is it's slightly different to the five litre mini kegs that you buy from the supermarkets because they're pretty much one day job. You've got the little thing on top that you let the air out and you can, you know, you know the crack if you've had one. This one actually lasts for 30 days apparently. If you see there, it's a sealed container. That tap actually comes in a little plastic uh, bit of wrapping on the top. It's in two pieces. The big gray bit just clips on top of the keg and this spout just clips inside. So very easy to set up. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with this review and uh, see what we get. So I've got my glass at the ready. I haven't got a Fisher glass, but I have got a beer de Noel Granted, it's not Christmas, but it is a French beer, so we're going to go, go in with this now and see what we get. It's quite lively, so I, I don't know how the pour is going to come out. Hopefully, you're all enjoying your bank holiday weekend. Hopefully, this is going to be quite interesting because, if I'm aware, there aren't a lot of people that do these 5 litre mini keg reviews, so I thought I'd pick one up and I thought it would just be something different to do. So, in a glass, Christ, you can't see there with the sun on it, can you? In a glass, we've got golden, real golden straw colour, if you like. Uh, no real carbonation in there. Uh, it's not nucleated glass, there are a few bubbles going up. We've got a two finger of white compact head. It's pretty much clear, what you can't, it's, if you, yeah, I mean, that, that's clear, isn't it? So, Blondeau, as I said, without further ado, let's dive in on the nose, see what we get. A little bit malty. Little bit yeasty. Little bit fruity. But it has the aroma, a little bit of a, say, a lager as well. So it's certainly smelling a little bit between sort of a lager and a Blondale. It doesn't smell particularly offensive. It smells all right. So without further ado, happy Sunday, everyone. Let's dive in. Cheers. First thing I noticed, lovely body on the beer. It's got a bit of weight to it, but not so much that it's heavy really you know it's just got that little bit more weight to it gentle carbonation in there quite soft and smooth in the mouth so it's got a lovely mouth feel taste wise it's definitely got an inkling of lager in there it's got a, a, a lager feel to it And it's the maltiness in there. There's a maltiness with a little bit of a bready feel. And I would actually say it's got sort of like a bit of a brown bread feel to it. And that, that's given me the inkling of a lager sort of thing. There's that slight sweetness of a blonde. Some of these blondes can be quite sweet. They have a sweetness to them. For instance, Lefe. This has got a subtle sweetness, a subtle fruitiness, very subtle yeastiness, very subtle. And a very gentle bitterness. Very gentle bitterness. For me, this is... I mean, blondes tend to... A, a big full-on blonde that you sort of expect tells you it's a blonde what this beer is doing is telling you I'm a bit blonde 
I'm also a bit larger. I'm not going to be too heavy for you. Uh, but I've got enough lager taste just to, you know, if you're not used to blondes, I'm a lager as well, you know, you can drink me. That's what this is telling you. Uh, it's quite nice though, 6%, you're not really getting any of that. You're really not. And considering it's only like 0.6 of a percent weaker than left, it certainly hasn't got as much blonde flavour as left. So it feels a little bit lighter. A little bit easier to drink the six percent like i say <clears throat> excuse me you're not really getting that and that shows in the taste i think easy to drink pretty inoffensive it's not really i mean this is a blonde ale uh it's a good starter starter really for a blonde ale because it's got that lager-esque sort of feel to it. So it's, it's, it's a nice little start of blonde ale to get into. Uh, if you're trying to get into maybe, you know, Belgian blonde beers, uh, excuse me. But yeah, it's all right. It's nothing fancy. It's, it's inoffensive. It's quite easy to drink, quite refreshing. Not gonna make you go wow, but it is enjoyable. So uh, for me, the old, Fisher tradition, I think it's worth picking up. I think it's worth picking up. Would I pick it up again? Because uh, I've got so many machines and different beers to choose from. I probably wouldn't pick it up. But saying that, if I wanted a cheaper option, I've got a few friends coming around or something. And, you know, they do quite a few of these kegs. So I'd be quite happy to just pick them up as, you know, just quick disposable kegs, if you like. And, and something different. So yeah, well worth a dabble if you like a blonde or you're trying to get into sort of like the Belgian blonde stuff. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Hopefully you've liked the video because it's something a little bit different. Feel free to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all again on another beer review. Cheers.